Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to send an email newsletter inside Klaviyo. Now, I'm gonna dive right into my computer and let's get started. Okay, so when you first log into your Klaviyo account, this is what your homepage is going to look like. So how you send an email um, to your newsletter inside of Klaviyo is you are going to start by coming over here to the left-hand side and clicking on campaigns. So when you click on campaigns, that is essentially going to house all of your um, current and past emails that you have sent. So once this loads, there we go. You will see some of the past campaigns that I have currently sent out to my email list. Um, but to create a new one, you're going to come up here to the right hand side and you're going to click on create campaign. You're going to make sure you select email because we're sending an email. And now I like to always name the campaign. So in the future, I can go back and I can um, look and see like what email that was. So no one's going to see this part. This is pretty much just for your reference. So I'm just going to do test email just for the sake of this video. And then I would just leave the tags alone because you're wanting to send this email to your entire newsletter. So then you'll scroll down, scroll down to recipients and the send to will be your main newsletter. And also you can send it to any other list as well. So if you have multiple lists, you can, you know, pick which list you want to send it to. I always suggest just honestly, if it's like a general email that you want to go to everybody, then just select all of the lists. Now keep in mind, you might also have some members on or some subscribers on multiple different lists, that's okay. It doesn't send them an email. Um, it doesn't send them a multiple emails. It'll only send them one. So you can see how like, you know, this says the campaign will be sent to approximately 83 people. Now I know for a fact that I have some people who are on my main newsletter and I also have some people who are on my Shopify course members or my Shopify course newsletter. So just keep in mind that even if you have subscribers that are on multiple lists, it will only send them one email. If you wanted to exclude a particular list, you could come down here and select this button and then you would just tell Clavio who you don't want the email to go to. I always suggest turning this off because you don't want to skip recently emailed profiles. You want it to go to everyone that you're telling Clavio to send it to. So just, I suggest turning that off. And then I always suggest just turning this on because of tracking. You just want to uh, make sure that Clavio is tracking all of the parameters inside your email. Okay, so now we're going to click continue to content. And this is where you are going to actually create your email. So this part right here is pretty self-explanatory. You're gonna fill out your subject. I'm just gonna do test, um, your preview text. I'm just gonna do test again. Now your subject is obviously the main, everybody knows what a subject is. <laughs> you know, it's your main um, line that people are gonna see when your email pops up across their phone. So make sure you pick a good subject line. And then the preview text is obviously that little text that comes after the subject line that people see before they actually open up the email. So make sure these two are really, really good. Um, and you know, you have a solid hook in there and that your subject line and your preview text are um, you know really good so people want to open the email. Now you can change the sender name. I'm just gonna leave it as my company name. And then this is the email address that it will be sent to if people reply back to the email. And also it will reflect um, who, who the person is getting an email from. So this automatically populates. I would just suggest leaving these two here unless you needed to change it otherwise. Now, moving on, there are multiple different ways for you to uh, send an email inside of Clavio. For example, you see text only, HTML, or drag and drop. I always suggest using drag and drop because this is just the easiest and you can you know, customize your email to look the way you want it to look. So for the sake of this video, we are going to click on drag and drop.
Now Clavio has a bunch of different templates already created. Um, so I would suggest, you know, browsing through here and finding a template that fits your brand that you really like. Um, you know, as you can see scrolling through here, there are so many different templates that you can use. I'm just going to pick one for the sake of this video to show you how to um, use it. One that I really like that I tend to use a lot for my brand is this one. So I'm going to use this template. And now it lets you preview what the template looks like. But keep in mind, I'm going to change all of this to match my brand and my photos, my company, things like that. So I'm going to click use template. Okay, and now we are inside of Clavio. So um, over here, you will see a bunch of different blocks, which are like, you know, blocks that you can use for customizations if you wanted to change the way the template looks. You are currently previewing your email on the desktop version, and you can also select mobile and preview the way your email will look like if it shows up on a phone. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to come through here and you would just customize these templates. So for example, this, I would click on this box to change because I don't want it to say your logo. I want it to actually be my logo. And then I would click browse image library. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to scroll through here until I can find my logo. Which one of them is right here. So I will just click select. And that's where my logo would pop up. And then I would click on over here, the link address, I'm going to make it link to my website. So that way, if somebody were to click on this logo, it would take them to my company website. And now to edit this section, I would just click this box as well. And let's say I wanted to leave it as view our collection or I wanted to change the text. I could maybe do um, read new blog post here. And then the URL would go right there. So if somebody were to click on this block, where do you want it to take them? Make sure you update that link right there. You could also change the color of the button or you could change the um, color of the text right here. So like, let's just do, what if I just wanted it to be uh, my brand brown color. So see how the text color changes. And then you can also uh, you can change the font to match your brand's font more if you wanted to. So I typically like to use this Georgia font. And then to change this image and put an image that reflects the email that I'm sending, I would again just click on this box. And then I would over here, I'm going to click on replace. And let's just say, you know, okay, so I sent an email out yesterday about my new blog. So let's say I wanted this blog cover photo that I've already created to be the main image. So I would click select. And then again, over here, I would do, let me move myself out of the way for you the link address. So notice how it says right here, link address. I would make sure to include um, the link of if someone were to click on this photo, I would want it to take them to the new blog post. So make sure you include that link right there. And then as I scroll down, 
I would continue to update these sections. So continue clicking on these blocks. And then over here, this is where you would edit any text. So if I wanted to, um, let's say, let's say I just wanted to do, you know, um, a little title of my blog to get people to understand like what, you know, what the blog is about. So I would say three systems used inside my business. This is the blog that I sent out yesterday. And then I could also continue typing a little bit to explain to them, you know, what the blog is. So depending upon what you want your email to consist of, you can type whatever text you want there. Or if you didn't want any text and you just wanted to leave it as the photos, you could also just delete this block. And you would delete it by just clicking on this little button. and then it automatically saves. Okay, now for the sake of this video, I just want to go ahead and delete these images because I am sending a blog email. My computer is being so slow, there we go. All right, so I'm just going to delete these images However, if you wanted to, you could add another image. So you would just keep clicking on these boxes essentially, and you would just update them. And if you didn't want those boxes there, you would just delete them. So the cool thing about the templates you see as I'm going through and I'm clicking all these boxes is Clavio pretty much like already gives you some templates to use. And then you just go through and you click on these boxes and you update and edit the boxes to be the way that you want them to be. So it would have the photos that you want them to have. It would have the verbiage and the text that you want them to have. Um, so you can pretty much take the template that Clavio has already given you and you can just customize it and make it your own. So that's a really cool thing that I love about Clavio. Okay, so I have gone through and I have deleted all of the boxes that I didn't want inside of the template. So now let's say I wanted this button to say like read new blog here or something like that. I just want to edit this button. So I'm going to click on this button like we've been doing. And over here, I'm going to change the text to reflect what I want it to actually say. So read the new blog here. And let's say I want the color to be a different color. I would just select the color that I want and notice too in this little hex number box, you can also type in the hex number of the color that you want. I just want the brown because that matches my brand. And then also make sure too that you scroll down and you can update either the font and you can also update the URL. So make sure you input your URL right there. And then now down here, let's say I wanted to leave all of this so people can subscribe to my social channels as well. You would again, just come through here and click on the different boxes and you're going to just make the different changes. So let's say I wanted it to be my lighter tan color as the color for this. So I would just go through and I would just change the color on all of them. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I'm gonna change this color. And another thing too to note in here, um, this is where you're going to add the links to your social media. So in this box, you are going to click on these 
and you would add your Facebook link. So you would just copy and paste your Facebook link and put it right here. Same thing for Twitter, same thing for Instagram. And of course, if you didn't have, like let's say you didn't have a Twitter, you could just delete that and then you would click add icon and you could add like maybe your Pinterest or if you had a YouTube channel. So this is where you would add all of your social media icons and links. So you would just have to go to your specific channels and copy and paste the links to those channels in these little blocks. And then last but not least, I'm going to change the color of this to be my light tan color. And then now this email is more on brand with my company. I have the photos for my email that I want to send out. I have all of the links are updated. I've updated my logo. And I do suggest leaving this up here just for um, visibility purposes. And then um, you also have to leave these, which you can change the colors of those as well. But you also have to make sure you give people an option to unsubscribe just by law. If somebody doesn't want to receive emails from you anymore, they need to have the ability to unsubscribe from your list. Let's hope that's not the case, though, because if your audience is on your list, then they subscribed for a reason, you know. OK, so now we're going to click on save and exit. And then it's going to bring you back to your main editing page. So if you remember earlier in this video, this is what the main page looked like before you started building out the email that you wanted to send. And then you would just click on continue to review. And then it will pull up um, a review of your email for you to make sure that you are ready to send. So, you know, it'll check everything off for you, making sure that you have your subject line, your smart sending, everything looks good to go. And then you would click schedule or send. And then what you're going to do is you would either schedule a time to send your email or you could go ahead and click send now. And that is how you will send an email to your newsletter inside of Clavio. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you are into Shopify, email marketing, and just all things business, then consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, if you have any questions, please comment down below.